first thing, I think it's pretty funny that I'm talking to you in a basketball arena because basketball was my number one failure. I'm seven years old, and I happen to be born with a big set of thighs. Kids called me log legs, tree trunks. Oh, yeah. You know the one that's stuck? Thunder thighs. <laughs> uh-huh. They called me thunder thighs, and they called it to me so many times, and they told me so many times when I was out on that court, kids with thunder thighs can't play basketball. And you know what happened? I started believing them. And then that first game comes along. I finally get in the game. I get the ball. Whew. I might have done two dribbles. I take my shot. Boom! Score. Woohoo! For the other team. <laughs> Do you know what I did? And I'm, true story. I went to the bench, and I ran off the bench, and I ran home. And I swore to my family I would never play that sport again. Because I had been convinced in my head, big legs, don't play basketball. I tell you that story because that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about believing in yourself. We're going to talk about the only limits in your life are in here. They're in here. And I'm going to tell you a whole bunch of different stories to prove it to you. Mr. Thunderthigh is here. Because when you walk away from this, I want you to remember one thing. Your only limits are your imagination and your determination. Your life, the direction you choose, is going to be up to you. That's what I'm talking about when we talk about being unstoppable. And the reason I share that story with you is that there are going to come times when you're going to hear something. You're going to hear about a final exam before you've even broken it down into little bite-sized chunks. And you've got to have an override. You've got to tell your brain, no, this is important to me. I'll figure out a way to do this. I am going to do it. I don't care how crazy it sounds, and trust me, one guy was talking to another guy. Usually, when one quitter quits, the other person's right next to him because they're trying to talk each other out of it together because misery loves company, right? You're going to see this drown proofing in your lives because you're going to go after something big and scary, and you've got to be able to say, I'm going to try it. I want to tell you a couple things before you take this here last PT test to qualify to come over to my side of the compound. I'm going to tell you how to make it through SEAL training right now. Pay attention. You see, it ain't complicated. You just have to decide how much you're willing to pay. You see, the problem is, everybody wants to be a seal on a sunny day. But how bad you want to be a seal on a scary day? When it's wet and cold and dark, you go head first, all in, all the time. Because that's what it's going to take. You see, you all have a gift. Each one of you's got something different in them. But to get that gift and put it to work is all in, all the time. You're going to fail. You're going to learn different ways not to do things. But the difference between you and everybody else is that you're not going to give up. You're going to keep going. 